Hello and welcome to part 8 of the Game Guru tutorial series which has experienced a slight and when I say slight I mean long delay and a few mishaps and accidents along the way. This is a map which has been restored um, before the path was introduced um, and I'm going to pick it up from here because the other file was developed further and the videos suffered an accident and the map file was changed so if we just roll it back here and we can pick it up from where we left off and hopefully no harm done in fact the path will be better because it's always better the second time you do it so from the last video i created a path uh, from this which is going to be a um, campsite to the main road connecting the castle to the forest just going to delete a few trees that I perceive to be in my way. I will take um, the texture painting tool, choose a road like texture. No, kind of a, a worn like texture because this isn't a main road like this. It's a it's an off path. Reduce the size of the receptacle and just draw where I want my path to be. It's going to come up over here around the lake around the lake and down to this clearing and this is where I'm going to have my small settlement it's going to be some sort of um, a transient settlement like um, traders or uh, um, a boat people uh, we've got this connected to the main road like so and go to the grass painting tool and remove the grass from the new road uh, which we just got up to in the last video uh, before let's call it the Tower of Troubles and um, just cut the grass away from everything here so there's a little bit on the sides but not on the path because people walk here the grass is worn away the foliage is worn away also take the smoothing brush and just go over the path uh, because the um, randomness of this terrain when it was generated had it sharp and the path would be naturally smooth from the footfalls of the travellers going to the campsite to the main road and obviously from the main road to wherever they want to go so now that's done if I come down to a player's eye view it looks fine just travel the path yeah it's uneven enough to be um, enough the beaten path but it's not harsh and sharp so I'm happy with that so here I'm going to build a small settlement and uh, this settlement will be a sort of a small fishing outpost um, which supplies the main castle and then perhaps trades through the woods so so here will be the site of our fishing village and for the fishing village I want to include a few uh, buildings like a little shanty building some people maybe a pier, some sort of storage thing where they store the catch like barrels or boxes and uh, maybe a wagon to take the, um, the, the the catch off to where it's going to go so if I jump into the entity libraries and try and find some lighter looking buildings now buildings pack which is mm -hmm, there there's a few huts in here which might be good actually so let's have a look at shed one. Um, yeah, that's a nice building. So, in fact, before I do this, I'm going to level this out a bit because I want a bit more room here. So, if I take my fixed um, level mod and then achieve the level, hold down the left mouse button constantly and just draw out like this. I want the nice flat piece of terrain. And I'm going to paint the texture more rocky here, right up to the edge, so I know where my buildings are going to go. Because this is well worn, well footed, well travelled. There we go. Like that. And just uh, dapple it at the edges to give it a kind of nice crackle effect. There we go. Now I get my building back, um, shed one. And I'll plop it here. Just pop it over there and that's like the big building that's where the big fisherman lives 
And a few little buildings as well. Uh, I saw this shed two. Looks quite nice. Uh huh. I'll pop that there. And what else do we have? Shed three. Let's just have all the sheds. It looks like a nice little warehouse thing. Um, but I'm blocking the road. So if I put that there, um, delete that, I'm going to smooth this down a bit. It's at a slightly different level to the rest of the village. That's okay. It was built on the little hill. And that could be where the cat lives. So I get my texture tool and just expand the, um, the floor terrain to cover this building. Like that. Now, obviously, I don't want grass growing in my buildings because the play can actually go in a few of these. So I just switch to grass and just depaint my way from all this. We can have grass under this one, uh, maybe, but not under the ones that the play can go inside of because you tend not to get bushes growing inside barns. There we go. Um, maybe one more build. Should four. What does this look like? Oh, it's a bit big. Um, I like it, but it's a bit big for this. i get rid of that. Let's have a look here. Warehouse, no. Build parts. Let's have a look at this. Um, <clears throat> ah, this is interesting. If we take a uh, shed rear wall, that will make quite a nice um, pier. Let's just pop it into position and drop it down slightly and just tweak the position until it's kind of where you want it to be. That was an unexpected find. Um, that's not exactly level. Maybe it's an old pier. It's fallen in. No, I want it nice. So let's just straighten him up and bring it down a bit. Just sink it into the earth a bit. You want the earth just coming onto it, but not um, too much. Yeah. Now that needs supporting. So there is some sort of support beams, maybe. So let's find a support beam. Hmm. Well, this might work. Let's have a look at this. If we um, play with this a little bit and just move it underneath and down uh -huh. and just straighten this because I think it's tilted. Yeah, and bring it up. Now I want it to cover those beams so they're not sticking through, but I don't want it to be elevated from the ground. Um, I also don't want to be gapped like this, so I'm going to bring it in till it's completely in contact with the ground, and then I will move the posts to suit the position of the pier because they can be a bit more forgiven. Oh, that is nice. I like that. Okay, so <clears throat> we've got a little pier. And we've got some buildings. Now, I think we can make this coastline a little bit more um, interesting. So, what I'll do is I'll take some rocks, which I believe are in classics. Classic. Classics. Now, I use these rocks in the forest. Uh... No, it is those catching catch They are around here somewhere. They are hiding from me. Oh, it was um foliage, wasn't it? Scenery. See? So many assets to choose from, it's so easy to lose track. If we place some rocks around the edges of the water you can break up the waterline a little bit and create um, a more interesting shadows and silhouettes. Maybe some big rocks here in the outcropping. Um, 
and just blend them into the water, blend them into the um, uh, terrain. Make it look like it's supposed to be there. Maybe a big one over here. Actually, let's give it something like so. Just make sure it's not doing anything weird at angles you wasn't expecting. Um, I want to put more rocks around here. This I want this to be like a rocky outcropping um, to which a pier has been built. So just drop that down a little bit. Um, just bring it in like so. And maybe some more. So just keep it versatile. You know, I don't have 10 of the same rock, just idly laid side by side. It'll be obvious what's happening there. Just different rocks, rotation, position, scale. You can create a lot of variety with only a few entities. I'll put that there. Like that. And I'm going to put some grasses around here going through the rocks as well. Because you don't have to go overboard, just enough to to break it up a little bit. Um, it's not all um, shores can be so smooth, uh, especially in rivers, you might have rock outcroppings and things like that. So we just. Um, plus, I don't want the player just coming out the water. I want to keep him in the village. And if he jumps over these rocks and falls in, he'll probably have to swim around. Uh, but that's his own fault. There you go. Because now it kind of looks like it's coming in from the side of the mountain and coming down. It's a pier, some more rocks. Yeah. I like that. Now let's try and find some foliage to go in between these rocks. Now, foliage. First place I'll check is foliage. Aha, hmm, hmm, um, let's start with plant eight, that's a nice little scrubbery thing, let's take a few of these in, uh, haphazardly at first, we can always position just later, these like, kind of like succulents, to plants that grow in rocks, need very little water. Um, the fact that they are at the riverside suggests that maybe it's the wrong plant, but they look nice, so I'm keeping them. And we'll try this a thistle. Oh, yeah, that's a thistle. We'll have some of these growing over here. Like I'll maybe break those up with a little uh, bush, maybe. That's a bit big, so let's just make that a bit smaller. It's like a scrub brush and some flowers going through it. Just a little background colour. And let's have some normal bushes. Um, oh, that's a nice one. Let's pop him though. I need some more over here. I think it's getting a bit barren. Um, flowers, bushes, fern. Yes, ferns are good for coverage. Ferns grow everywhere. They are one of the hardiest plants I've ever known. And it's also good in this context. So just breaking up lines um, and just giving the player something else to look at. Now I'm going to give these a bit of a rotation in a second. I'm just placing down kind of where I want them. I want them growing all around these rocks. And the last one I'll put the... Nope, I won't put it anywhere. Okay, just move this rotation. Try and get the leaves out of the rock and have it on a kind of um, a complementary angle. If I go press G for the top down view, it'll be easier to control the rotation. Um, of what I'm looking at, so rotate. Oh, that's the rock. Rotate the plant. No, that's still the rock. Rotate the plant. Right about there. And maybe spin it around a little bit. 
and the same over here stick it in there uh -huh. and just keep playing with it until you're happy with it it's your game it's your world you can do what you like and I like that I may go back later and tweak it a bit more but that's kind of the gist of what I'm looking for. It's like a nice little fishing village, some buildings, some rocks and plants, and some people. I think I'll have some people in here. No, we want some barrels and things. So let's look for barrels and things. Barrels and things. I believe there's one in the church pack. Barrel. Now we'll just pop a few barrels on the pier. Holding, holding down shift and holding in R will set it rotating. Then you can just left click and place them to be guaranteed a nice random orientation of the barrels. And maybe one on its side. So pop that there and just bring it up. If you get right down to the floor level, just make sure it's not um, cutting through the floor too much. There we go. And um, maybe a couple of boxes. Ah, uh, boxes. Now, where have I seen boxes? They may make back to the dungeons, I think, had boxes. No? Furniture? Well, they have a table. Scenery? Catacombs. Cave? Cave pack? Ah, a crate. That'll do. Now, we'll put him just there and that is our supply let's put some supplies in here as well so this is a new one if you press tab you will cut the tops off um tall things like trees and buildings and to make it easier to see the floor plan of what's inside it also makes it easy to place things in there so if you get some long crates and we can just place them in here like so just haphazardly and then maybe um, place a uh, an ore cart. No, there won't be an ore cart here. There'd be maybe a large crate then. You can place that just by the door. Just give makes it up a bit. Maybe one of them pickaxes I just saw. I'll just put that on top of the crate. It's an angle. Anything else in here that's interesting? A uh, hatchet couple of hatchets it's like a storage shed then there we go one more thing one more thing ladders they've got a pair of ladders in there and i'll put them like that so that's a storage shed and there's a fishing dock and that press tab again to get your tops back is an almost complete fishing village i will now save it as something originally titled we'll call it Tutorial 2 8. That will save. And then now, next time, we're going to put people in the village. I'm going to set up waypoints to have them walking around the village and looking a little bit more animated, a little bit more natural. Um, and in that way, you can see the village from afar. You can admire its, its living, breathing autonomy and then go in and like you know mix with the locals so until then i'll see you next time